I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! When the mist started whirling, I told the boys, it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Just like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. She's got to be here. Philippa Eilhart located her. It seems you met the whole menagerie. Will you abandon them too when things get hot? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. Is Vess all right? What do you care? We could have all died while you played at being a squirrel. I'm not one of your men, Roach. I didn't betray you. I didn't say that. But you thought it. You and your men against the whole world. Those not on your side are against you. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear, near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles. But some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise.
not any old steel. In your hot smithy, change Out of the way! Oh, Into a sword, a shield, and mail. <laughs> I'll plow your daughter. Bring back. Here, her will. Oh, okay. Ah, Are her flesh, not any old flesh. Uh, On hay in the barn, oh. she really looks fresh. No matter the stench, the sweat, the pain. To me. Hammer the steel, me. and I'll ah. oh, I think I'm gonna puke. An animal, a measly drunk beast. Formation! Forward march! I am glad our shift is over. Since that mist appeared, two patrols have gone missing. I've heard the rates rip them to shreds. Quit yattering! Move it! Look out! Don't get too close to him! Don't, don't kill me, Lord! Please! I'm only cooking here! You work too hard. Yes, you're right. I'll, uh, lie down. Look out! Don't get too close to him! Look out! Don't get too close to him! Bunch of idiots! We'll die on this patrol, I tell you, and it's your fault! It's not our fault Gibbs drank too much and puked in front of a centurion. Shut it, Civic! Where do you think you're going? To see the ambassador. With all that steel on your back? Have you seen a red-headed sorceress anywhere? You didn't seem to understand my delicate suggestion, Nordling. Drop your sword. I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Mednara Rabba. Geralt. I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Mr. Garamnith. I remember you telling Falters you'd like to return to hunting monsters. Triss Marigold was kidnapped. Falters' advisor. I heard she arrived at Vergen and hoped we would meet. But if she was kidnapped... Now I understand why you couldn't just stand by. But there are other reasons, too. They told me you're in league with the Skytown. With Yorvath himself, no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe at the ravine of the Hydra? The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vryhead Brigade. Yorvath was among those condemned. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of Coldwater. 
and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy. His parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. The high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Yuruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals, all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Amusing that the Skyatel believed the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the Kings of the North demanded the massacre at the Ravine of the Hydra. You feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The Council and the Conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vanamar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? Triss, what have you done to her? She'll be all right, Geralt. She can't hear, see, or feel, but she is alive. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Talvik or found him dead. It's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, Witcher. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? Plow yourself, Nilfgaardian. Your words mean nothing now.
like the good old days. Having killed an elf guardian for years. I knew you'd get in trouble. You have a talent for getting me out of it. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Foltest's former advisor. This stinks horribly, Geralt. It would seem the North Guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. What will happen at Loch Muin? Apparently, a lot more than I thought. Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witches were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the Council and the Conclave that once represented all the sorcerers and sorceresses of the North. King Radovid, the ruler of Redania, is also invited. As Loch Muin lies in Kedwin, Hensalt is likely to arrive too. But a Nilfgaardian delegation. Triss, Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Too many eggs in that basket. One more thing, Roach. I need to see Henselt. Why? I need a few drops of Henselt's blood. Someone poisoned Saskia's wine, and his blood is an ingredient of the cure. Saskia's a rebel, a wench from who knows where. She only speaks of knightly honor. Says Vernon Roach, blue-blooded prince, heir of Temeria. All right. Enough. Ah, plow it. I hope I won't regret it. Henselt should be in his tent. I'll distract the guards, then it's up to you. I owe you, Vernon. <laughs> That's not even funny anymore, Geralt. So, ready? Let's go, Roach. Geralt, hide! Hey, you! Come over here! What do you want, Tamarian? Those Nilfgaardians are beating up our lads. What? Our sons will regret that! Who are? Have you come to kill me? I'm here for your blood. You sneak in here like a villain and you want my blood? Fight me and try to spill it. Calm down, your highness. I need only a drop. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Volted's favorite witcher. I've heard of you. Why do you need my blood? Saskia, the Virgin of Edirne, was poisoned. Royal blood is one of the antidote's ingredients. What superstitious nonsense! The wench wants royal blood! She should bite Stennis Edden's heir in the arse! Listen, Your Highness. Give me your blood voluntarily, or I'll open your veins myself. I prefer the first choice. It would work out better for both of us. If I spill your blood myself, I'll have to break through the entire camp again. Who knows, maybe one of your soldiers will get lucky and kill me. I sincerely hope so, Satchel Mouth. But then the Wraith's Mist will hang on the border until your knights become weary of warring. What are you talking about? You know how to open the way for my army? Yes, but I can't do it dead. You'll get my blood. But promise you'll disperse the mist? You have my word, King.
remember our deal. My men will lead you out of the camp. I wouldn't want one of the soldiers to get lucky. Tell me, though, how did you pass the mist? I'm a witcher. Then I need an army of plowing witchers. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Muin. What? They cast a spell on her and turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. They had. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Muin will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen. At once! They were so foolish. Cherish this rare moment, Witcher. Philippa eilhart has been had by a cheap Nilfgaardian bitch. When I find her, we'll have it out like never before. She'll regret her mother didn't abort her. Wait. The Rose of Remembrance is gone. Not necessarily. That viper, Cynthia, was in a hurry and left her bric-a-brac. Ah, yes. Here it is. Triss Merigold's Rose of Remembrance. Time is running out, Geralt. This flower is dying. Then what are we waiting for? You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevisig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. How are things? Everyone awaits the battle. Some pray, others drink. Zoltan and Yarpan are chasing peasants around the square. They need a bit of drilling. Yorveth's warriors are trying to be inconspicuous, and so they should. I'd feel better if they crawled up the devil's ass and disappeared. But Saskia thinks we don't stand a chance without them. How long have you been alderman? My predecessor was killed three years ago. I was one of his advisors. I knew my way round the circus. So, I volunteered to manage things. No one opposed me. Mostly I deal with trade and taxes. And I organize assorted matters. In the end, everyone listens to Saskia exclusively. Me included. Think you might have gone a bit too far with Stennis? Mummy spent too much time pampering him, so he thought he could do anything he pleased. He got what he deserved. Maybe it'll all blow over, or maybe there'll be another war. History's like a coin that falls out of your pocket. You never know where it's gonna roll. Saskia needs help, Cecil. Philippa can produce an antidote, but she needs a magic artifact to do that. Would you like a fern and a dancing worm to go with it? Listen, I don't know about magic, but there is a place. As long as I can remember, it's been of interest to sorcerers. They say it's a very strong intersection. Look for magic there. Where exactly is there? Seek out the ruins in the forest beyond Bergen. There's a place of power there. You can't miss it. Why so glum? Saskia's a tough girl. She'll bounce back. Keep your head up. Thanks, Cecil. No, Witcher. I thank you. Save that lass, and you'll save my town.
You wanted to discuss something. I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer, but still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it was stronger. You know what this means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Hmm. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. I need to get inside the Harpy Lair. No chance. I know all about the Harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. And I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? It's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the Alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. And your nephew? Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days. And I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I do. Thanks, Cecil. And good luck staying sober. Take it to Sheila. 
You know where. She'll give you coin and further orders. Heavy. How am I supposed to carry it through the forest? I won't be able to draw my sword. You'll go unarmed, in common clothes. Try to sneak through unnoticed, but if anyone asks, you bring in the witch some sausages. You can see it a mile away. And it stinks of vinegar. I'll have to find a thick sack. Go on. Quit complaining. There's no time. By the gods, they're closer and closer. They'll not catch me. They'll not find it there, over my dead body, horses. You'll never fathom Master Baltimore's secrets. It's not far now. You're as beautiful as an elf, my lady. Come to me, my hero. Let's fuck in the barn. Ah, oh, the luck. To think I wanted to play dice with the others. Call them too. It'll be lovely.
Welcome, Witcher, to my humble home. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Who was Master Baltimore? He was our runesmith. The greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down the Pontar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. How did he vanish? One day he just up and disappeared. He had his fears, even paranoia. But that comes natural with great actors. Thought someone was out to kill him. Then he vanished without a trace in mysterious circumstances. After a month-long search, we held a funeral without his body to honor the memory of the great master. Is that all? Baltimore's best apprentice became the new runesmith, and life goes on. Who lives here now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house along with the honor of continuing the Great Master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cobwebs. I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? I found this. I can't read it. That's Elder speech, right? Correct. The text describes how to get to a certain place. What place? Don't know. The clues mark out a route of some sort. Could be where Baltimore hid his notes. Please, come to me if you find anything. It's very important. Witcher, wait! What are you doing here? I've been shadowing you since the first time you asked about Baltimore. Don't you mean we? Pay them no heed. They're my apprentices. I've an offer for you. Before you explore that chest, allow my apprentice to take Baltimore's notes. The rest is yours. What's in those notes that you care about them so much? Why can't I see them? Baltimore was quirky in his old days. The chest may contain documents disgracing people who hold important posts in Vergen. I can't allow anyone to read them, even if they're the creation of a sick mind. That's why, as I said, you let us search the chest before you do. We'll take the notes, you'll likely get a pouch full of orange, as well as a discount in my rune shop for life. And I have an offer for you. Get out of here, or I'll cut your head off. I knew kindness would lead nowhere. Get him, lads! <laughs> By the pricks of the male gods! Master Baltimore's notes! Where did you get them? I discovered his vault near the troll's lair. By the way, Thorak, your new rune master, is dead. He and his two apprentices have left for a better world. What? 
How did it happen? Thorak murdered Baltimore. There's enough evidence in the notes I just gave you. Thanks, Witcher. A reward for your labors. It's not much, but I'll be needing funds to appoint and equip a new ringmaster now. You wanted to discuss something? At the Council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a conflict with the Commander-in-Chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the Fallen and turns them into Draugrs. Is that the Witcher's professional name for wraiths? Draugrs are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a Draugr. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldier's ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the Curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth, that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Glevesig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega. Exactly. Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those artifacts. I'm good for now. I'll let you know when I learn something. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philippa claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Henselt, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedweni crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwen. Lord of Crab, 700 years ago the elves reigned here, and a million years ago these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. 
It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. When Vandergrift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for the ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dun Banner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Vandergrift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Vandergrift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwini sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Remember anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Henselt's troops crossed the Pontar the third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the left flank. Over five thousand strong we were, nobody caring about race or background, like never before. Only King Demovin was missing, but he must have had more important business than defending his country. You saw the Kidwenis cross the river? From afar. I saw Vandergriff leading four thousand heavily armed men. Many a heart sank when we saw the elite bearheads or the armored banners from Adkarig. The Dun Banner was in the middle, veterans of Brenna. As soon as he set foot on Adernian land, Vandergrift climbed a hill and surveyed the area, as if it was his fief. Son of a bitch was as sure of himself as ever. Upon spying him, <laughs> I remember the dwarves all dropped their trousers and showed him their asses. Then Selkirk stepped out in front of us. His white armor shone in the sun. We were afraid a kid Winnie Arbalis would shoot him, but they too stood as if frozen, and Selkirk just looked at them and bowed ever so slightly. Did you see the duel between Selkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the whole of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. 
Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhard claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. Seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy, handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner, the best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergin. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings, shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians, led by De Reuter on the right. And Natalis leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn. The repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Your memory has suffered after death. Kohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You are right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. And the last. Be so good as to remind me. Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. But I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Most of the Dun died. The survivors withdrew south. The fires blocked our way back to our lines and we fell into Biggerhorn's trap. I know, the cowardly bastard. You have proven that you served in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henzel's army from advancing. The unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, He'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your mind? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down. Discuss something. Your turn, sorceress. I have all you need to cure Saskia. Let's get to work. Scoyatel, 
Stand aside. Favorite type of magic, Lesbomancy. What is your name? Sen Sen Sen. What do they call you? Saskia. Do you remember what happened? Poison. They poison me. What day is it? What of the battle? Henselt and his army! Calm yourself. You will have your battle yet. I shall go and announce that you are once again among the living. Do I owe you my life? And Philippa. Thank you, Geralt. I promise to return the favor. Have you succeeded in lifting the curse? No, but we're almost ready to try. Vandergrift's sword. It's one of the conveyors of the power. You should have taken it. It's scrap iron to me, a sword like any other. The Scoia'tael wouldn't let anyone but Philippa near you, and they wouldn't have let even her take your famous sword. I'll try to remove the curse soon. Why do you aid me? I'd like to say I'm doing it for you, for a cause, but the truth is far less lofty. A certain elf prophesied that I'd recover my memory during this battle. I had no idea you believed in prophecies. I don't. But I also don't have a choice. I need to try. If my amnesia was magically induced, the elf's prophecy is just common sense. When I lift the curse, a shockwave will roll across the battlefield, a wave of pure, uncontrolled power looking for an outlet. As soon as it finds one, a strong field of anti-magic will arise. Who knows what might happen to someone subjected to these extreme conditions. But something's gotta give. I'm fresh out of alternatives. Good luck, Witcher. We await your return. 